Hey, church, say amen. Say amen one more time. Amen. Give God a hand clap of praise. Amen for his goodness and his mercy. Amen for this is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. So let us join in together and praise the Lord today. The word says, where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I will be in the midst. Amen. Amen. And we come here today to give God some praise because God has been good to us. Amen. Amen. His grace and his mercy. Amen. Has kept us. And we thank God for that. Amen. Join in with us. Amen. Truly, we worship the Lord because he is with us. Amen. At this time, we'll have our scripture reading by Minister Beatty and our prayer by Minister Alexander. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Yes, he leadeth me beside the still waters. Mm -hmm. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup, it runs over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Mm. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord yes. forever. Amen. Amen. The word of God for his people. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we come right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we come with thanksgiving on our lips, Lord God. We come, God, just to lift you up this morning, Lord God. We thank you for your grace and your mercy and your love and kindness, Lord God. We thank you, God, for you being better to us than we've been to ourselves. Lord God, Holy Spirit, right now, we just want to welcome you into this place. Lord, we want to welcome you into our hearts that it may cut sin on the left and sin on the right. Lord, we know you're able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think. Yes. And Lord, we just praise you today, for you are a worthy God. You said if thou be lifted up, you will draw all men unto thee. So Lord, just draw us closer to thee, God. Help us to walk right and talk right and live right. Lord, we pray right now for the ones that's in the hospital. We pray for our mother of the church today that's in the hospital. And Lord, we pray that you just lift her up, oh God, and strengthen her where she's weak and build her up where she's torn down. Mm -hmm. Lord, we pray for the bereaved family. We pray for the sick. Yes. Lord God, we know you're able to do all things. 
for you said in your word there is nothing too hard for you. Mm -hmm. Father, we cast in our cares upon you today, for we know that you are a burden bearer. Mm -hmm. We know you are the heavy load sharer, yeah. and we know that you are our strength, our hope, and our peace, Lord God. Lord, we um, ask that you just order our steps today, Lord God. We pray that you just anoint our pastor first, yeah. afresh, and use him for your glory. Lord, we're nothing without you. Lord, we praise you and we magnify your name. And Lord, bless every family that's represented here today. Lord, bless the ones that's on drugs that strung out, Lord, and can't get off. Bless the ones that have alcohol battle, Lord God. Bless the bereaved family, Lord God. Bless the homeless today, Lord God. Lord, we pray for anyone that have pain in their body, Lord. We know it. the name of Jesus, your healing is in your name. And Lord, would strengthen us all, Lord. And let us have, put on the praise, God, to lift you up like never before today. Yes. Create in us, Lord, a clean heart. We know you're able, God. Mm -hmm. Lord, we pray for all the, fa the church family that's on the sick list. And we pray for the ones that didn't get to make it today. We pray for the ones that's looking down upon us. And Lord, help them to change their lives today, God. Help us to walk worthy. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. We're down and we're in trouble. We have to hold to his hands. Hopefully he putting our hand in his hand. Everybody know this, song, this song? This is him. Number 248. <coughs> Church, we got to hold to his hand. Help me say, God.
out a hand clap of praise. Amen. Welcome to each and every one of you. Happy birthday and anniversary to those that are celebrating. Amen. Miss Gracie uh, had a birthday this week. Amen. And also, y'all keep Miss Gracie in your prayers. She had a hospital visit this week. Amen. But she's at home getting better. Amen. 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 Also, today, happy birthday to Brother Al Herbert. Amen. Happy birthday, Al. <laughs> Amen. With all January babies, please stand. January, Miss Kamara, Miss Dolores, amen, my wife, Brother Al, Miss Gracie, amen. Amen, happy birthday, January babies. <laughs> amen. Any anniversary? Amen. Again, please keep those on our healing list in your prayers. Continue praying for Miss Ethel Browning, amen. She says that she is uh, doing a little better, amen, but we ask the church to continue praying for her. And also, as you heard, Minister Alexandra pray, continue praying uh, for Ms. Ruth Dogan. Amen. Amen. And anybody else, amen. Days like today, uh, when it's cold outside and it's raining outside, uh, it's, it's rough uh, and tough for some of our seasoned members to get out. Amen. Amen. Now, I, I can't say nothing about the young people. Amen. But our seasoned members, I understand, amen, when it's weather like this. Y'all keep them in your prayer because their heart is with us. Amen. They're just not able to be here. Please keep all the Reed families in your prayer. Con special uh, prayer for Deacon Briggs family. His brother-in-law and his cousin, amen, uh, went home to be with the Lord. A man by the name of Jerry Rice. So y'all keep him uh, and his family in your prayers. Funeral service is today. Also, uh, on this Saturday, again, the union number three. We'll meet at the New China Baptist Church beginning at 10 a.m. We ask you, please, sirs and ma'ams, all that can come, uh, please come. Amen. I plan on trying to attend because I know my schedule, and, and this might be the only one I can make because softball starts in March. So, again, uh, I'm going to try to make this one, and we ask you, please, sirs and ma'am, at the New China uh, Baptist Church. Uh, again, as you heard Sister Wright say, the Fourth Sunday Fellowship is today. Uh, we ask in our choir to bless us with a song. Uh, the deacons will be in charge. And uh, Reverend Allen says it is uh, all intentions to only hold for about an hour. Amen. I told him we, uh, as long as we out by 530 today, we fine. Because the Cowboys don't play the 630 tonight. <laughs> Amen. Also, sirs and ma'ams, on February the 4th, we will have our church conference at 1 o'clock p.m. Our church conference will start at approximately 1 o'clock p.m. on February the 4th. Uh, again, uh, thank God for each and every one of you. We pray you all have a wonderful time today. And we thank God that our youth are, are going to bless us uh, with a selection today. Amen? Amen. Amen. Give God a hand clap and pray. Wake up and smile, cause it's been a while It's been like a whole day, but you should stop so you can hold me This child away, strong in the face Lord, you are the refuge, and I've just got to get to So I won't let a day go, won't let a day go by Without thanking you for the joy that you bring to my life and ooh, it's something about the way your sun shines on my face. It's a love so true, I can never get enough of you. This feeling can't be wrong. I'm about to get my worship on. Take me away. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
need to worry And I've got no room for the how No matter what's coming at me you always be the beautiful I sing about Man, ain't no invitation Cause you're amazing grace And you're amazing grace And ooh, it's something about the way Your sun shines on my face It's a love so true I can never get enough of you This feeling can't be wrong I'm about to get my worship on Take me here it's a beautiful day, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful day, yeah, yeah, yeah. so true i can never get enough of you this feeling can't be wrong i'm about to get my worship on take me away it's a beautiful day yeah 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 such a beautiful day.
Amen. You ought to run and tell that. And you ought to run and tell somebody that even though it's rainy and cloudy on the outside, it's still a beautiful day. Because God is still good. And he's still sitting on the throne. And it'll always be a beautiful day. Amen. Amen. Give both of those choirs a hand of praise. Amen. Amen. As you turn your Bibles to the book of Hebrews chapter 12, we bring you greetings this morning. God's the Father. Jesus is definitely his son. And we can do nothing without the Holy Spirit. To our wonderful ministers, our deacons, trustees, choirs, members, and friends. It's always a great day to be in the house of praise one more time. Amen. The book of Hebrews chapter 12, we're going to read verse 1 and 2. We're going to let the Lord have his way. Amen. So y'all can uh, meet us back at the New Bethel Baptist Church. Amen. For the fourth Sunday fellowship. If you have it, we ask you to please rest upon your feet if you are able. Book of Hebrews, right before the book of James, chapter 12. We're going to read verses 1 and 2. Amen. Ready? Ready? Let's read. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which do easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. The word of God for the people of God. Amen. We want to talk from a topic briefly this morning. Stay in the race. Stay in the race. My brothers and sisters, just want to encourage you all this morning to stay in the race. There are many of us who started out good. We started out with a solid foundation. We started out singing on the choir. We started out on the earthy board. Started out working in the kitchen committee. Started out paying our tithes. Started out coming to Bible study. Started out coming to Sunday school. Started out coming to church every Sunday. Oh, y'all quiet in here uh, uh, this morning. Amen. But if y'all came up like I did, amen, church wasn't an option back then. Church was a necessity. Church was mandatory. Amen. And you didn't have the option of whether or not you participated because everything, amen, that was for the young people back then, mom and daddy had you in. Amen. We was on the junior worship board on the third Sunday, the, the junior choir on the fourth Sunday, and we had our junior missionary meetings on the second and the fourth Sunday. Y'all don't hear me in here. Yeah, y'all looking at a man that has went full circle in the church. Amen. But how many of y'all know that a good start isn't enough in the eyes of God? Y'all remember Judas, don't you? Even he started out right at one time. Amen. Amen. But you ever seen a relay race? Some people come out slow. Some come out real quick. I've even witnessed some stumble starting out. Even with boxing, I've seen boxers. Y'all remember Muhammad Ali, amen, Cassius Clay? He would lay up against the rope and just let his opponent pound on him and pound on him and pound on him. And then finally later on in the fight, Ali would turn that thing around. And knock him out. Can I get a witness in here? I come to tell you this morning, my brothers and sisters, it's not how you start, but rather it's how you do during, and most importantly, it's how you finish. Can I get a witness in here? And I know COVID is on the rise again. Seems like food is at an all-time high. Gas has went back up. And there's someone who thought that they were seeing a little more light at the end of the tunnel. But with these things trending in the wrong direction, some may feel like things are getting dim again. 
But I come to encourage you today to stay in the race. And one thing about staying in the race, I know the first thing I know, you have to stay in your lane. Anytime you watch folks racing, amen, and if they come out of their lanes, they will be disqualified. Many of us in here, amen, we disqualify ourselves because we don't stay in our lane. We worry about what our neighbor doing across the street. We worry about what our partner doing is running beside us. Can I get a witness in here? But I come to tell you today that we have to stay in our own lane because God has a race for you to run. Can I get a witness in here? And I can't run Deacon Hunter's race. I can't run Minister Beatty's race, but I have to run my own race. Can I get a witness in here? And too many times, amen, we want what other people want. But I always tell folks, we don't want to go through what they went through to get it. Can I get a witness in here? So we have to learn and realize that we have to run our own race. And we have to stay in our own lane. And in staying in our own lane, the next thing we have to do, we have to stay with the Lord. We have to have that mindset like Job had. Job said, yet though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Job knew, amen, that he was better off staying with the Lord. Going through his trials and tribulation. Going through losing everything. Going through the flesh falling off of his bone. Than him being without the Lord. And I come to tell you this morning, my brothers and sisters, that I know sometimes the race gets rough. I know sometimes the race gets tough. But you have to stay with the Lord. Can I get a witness in here? And I've learned, amen, that I'm going to have good days and bad days. But I'll have better days if I stay with him. Next thing that we must do, we have to stay in our lane. We have to stay with the Lord. And we have to make sure that we stay equipped. The book of Ephesians chapter 6 tells us to keep our shield of faith. Keep on the breastplate of righteousness. Keep on the helmet of salvation. And keep the sword of the spirit. Can I get a witness in here? And I come to tell you this morning that the devil is always busy. Because I found myself this morning coming down the road by myself. And the devil started putting something in my head, and finally, I just said, devil, leave me alone. And the thoughts went away. And I come and tell you this morning that sometimes you have to tell the devil to leave you alone. Especially, amen, when you are on your way to do something for the Lord. When you are on your way to sing for him, when you are on your way to visit somebody that may be sick, when you are on your, on your way to pray for somebody Amen. The devil will start attacking you because he don't want to see God's work go forth. But if you can learn to stay with the Lord and you can learn to stay equipped and you can learn to stay in your lane, things will be all right. Can I get a witness in here? And my brothers and sisters, I know that sometimes many fall out of the race because they have lost their faith and their focus. Because staying focused on your problems can knock you out of the race. But prospect, I refuse to fall in that category. And I'm staying in the race because I have grace. See, sometimes we have to remember whose we are and the resources that we have. And who I am and the resource I have is bigger than my problems. Can I get a witness in here? And I realize that this race is bigger than my present and is bigger than my flesh because I truly realize that I'm living now so that I can live again. Can I get a witness in here? And we have to learn that we have a race to run. Hebrews 12 tells us, Wherefore sin also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness. Let us lay aside every weight. And the sin which don't easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. We have to have patience on this journey called life. Because sometimes things look good. And sometimes things look bad. 
Sometimes we wake up with a smile on our face only before the sun goes down to have tears coming from our eyes. But we have to remember that we are not supposed to worry about tomorrow because tomorrow isn't promised to us. But we have to worry about the race that we are running today. Can I get a witness in here? And I've learned that sometimes while running the race, my foot may get stuck in the mud. But the God that I serve, he'll take my feet out of the Mari clay. Can I get a witness in here? And I realize sometimes when I run that my feet may step in a water puddle. But the God that I serve, he can pick me up and turn me around. Can I get a witness in here? And I just want to encourage everybody this morning to keep on running your race. Make sure you have some patience while you're running your race. Because in verse 2, it tells me that Jesus Christ is the author and the finisher of my faith. That means he's writing the plan out for me. And when it's all over, I have a place in glory. Can I get a witness in here? But I'll come to tell you this morning that I'm going to keep on running my race. Sometimes I have to run by myself. Sometimes I have to run with my wife. Sometimes I have to run with my children. Sometimes I have to run with my church family. It doesn't matter what's going on. All I come to tell you this morning is just keep on running. As long as you're running for him, everything's going to be all right. Can I get a witness in here? As long as you're running for him, he's going to take care of you. Young people this morning, keep on running with the Lord. I don't care what your friends may say. I don't care what your friends may do. Keep on running with the Lord because he'll never leave you nor forsake you. Keep on running with the Lord. As many that may start out with you, you look around and they're nowhere to be found. But the God I serve, he'll always be there. He's always there and he's right on time. Can I get a witness in here? Keep on running your race. The old folks used to say, we got a race to run. All God's children, they got a race to run. And when you realize that you got a race to run, and you realize the things that God has placed before you, you won't let Satan stop you. You won't let your enemy stop you. You won't let nobody stop you because you know that one day I got to cross the finish line and I want to hear him say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Can I get a witness in here? That's why I'm going to keep on running. Is there anybody here that's going to run this race with me? Is there anybody here that's going to keep on holding on to God's unchanging hand? Let me hear you say, yeah, ain't the Lord all right? If you hold on to his hand, you will run the race. If you hold on to his hand, he'll dry your eye. If you hold on to his hand, you'll realize that it's gone. It's going to be all right. Keep on running your race. Keep on keeping the faith. Keep on holding on. Because God is still in charge. As it said in verse 2, amen, Jesus is sitting on the right hand in glory. And when you know that, amen, you know that the God we serve will never leave you nor forsake you. He'll always be there with you. Give God a hand clap of praise. Doors of church are open. You may... Come, however, God is landing on your heart. But we ask you to come before it's everlasting too late. Amen. There may be one baptism, restoration, Christian experience. Watch care of the church.
We already got to draw the water per Sunday. Amen. Would there be one? Amen. Let us pray. All wise God, our Heavenly Father, Lord, as once again we come calling on your holy, divine, and righteous name. God, some come for one thing and some come for another. But God, we all come seeking your face, realizing, God, that we got a race to run. And as your word said, God, that the race isn't given to the swift or the strong, but it's given to those that's going to endure until the end. Knowing that you are the author and the finisher of our faith. God, we come lifting up those that's in need of a healing this morning. God, we come lift up Mother Dogan. God, we come lifting up Miss Ethel. God, we come lifting up Miss Gracie. And God, we come lifting up anybody else. That's calling on the name of Jesus right now. Knowing, God, that when we call on that name, something has to happen. God, when we call upon that name, demons begin to tremble. So, Father, we calling on the name of Jesus right now for our friends, family, and our loved ones that's needing a touch from thee. God, we come praying for the bereaved families today. God, we ask you to have mercy and give them peace that surpasses all understanding. God, we come lifting up the Rice family right now. God, they're going to have to tell their loved ones, see you later. God, have mercy upon them. And God, any other family that may be experiencing bereavement at this hour. God, Lord, we come praying for our church family. Lord, we pray, God, that we continue keeping you first. Father, that we always seek your face. And God, that we realize that we have to run this race. Stay in our lane and stay with you. God, I pray that we always stay equipped with the breastplate of righteousness. God, with our helmet of salvation. God, knowing that, God, the devil is busy. Because God, your word said, God, we don't wrestle. God, we wrestle. Not against principalities, Lord, but we wrestle against that old mean devil. God, Lord, I pray that we realize that we have power over Satan. God, I pray that we realize, God, that as long as you sit high, God, Lord, the this, this devil is defeated. God, Lord, I pray today, God, that we uh, keep on loving you because, God, you're going to always love us. God, I pray for those, God, who may be going through some tough times right now. God, because we know that some people, you never know what they're going through. Because, God, they keep it between you and them. But, God, I pray that they continue talking to you. God, I pray that they continue keeping their faith in you. Because, Father, we know that if we have faith the size of a mustard seed, God, Lord, you can do anything but fail. God, Lord, we thank you for being God. And we thank you for allowing us to be your children. But most importantly, we thank you for sending your son to the old rugged cross to die for sinners like us so that one day we may have way to the tree of life. God, we love you today. God, we worship you today. God, we thank you for touching our young people. God, and allow them to sing and bless us this morning. God, let them know to God, Lord, that their work is not in vain. 
God, because, Lord, you, we realize you told us in your word to suffer the little children to come unto me. God, Lord, we pray, God, that they continue praising your name through songs. Because, God, we realize that many of us started out where they are, singing on the young adult choir. And, God, you told us in your word that if we train them up in the way that they should go, when they get old, they will not depart from it. God bless everybody under the sound of my weak voice. In Jesus' name we pray. All God's children said, Amen. 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 God bless each and every one of you. Now, uh, y'all don't go home and get too comfortable. Listen to them raindrops and miss us at 2 o'clock. Amen. Amen. Y'all go get you something to eat. And join us. Amen. I promise y'all we won't be there long. Y'all know your pastor. We won't be there long. Amen. But we're going to give God the glory. That's what's due to him. Amen. Amen. If your job tells you to work overtime, you may fuss a little bit, but you work that overtime. Especially if it's mandatory. And some people volunteer. Amen. But when it comes to God, amen, sometimes we got to give him a little extra. Amen. 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 Everybody say Amen. Let us look toward heaven. Eternal God, our Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for allowing us to assemble here this morning. And God, we thank you for your traveling grace and mercy as we rode up and down the dangerous highways, God. God, we pray that you continue giving us that as we travel to our various destinations, as we depart this place but never from your presence. And God, Lord, we pray that as we assemble with other church families today, God, that we have a Holy Ghost glorious good time praising your holy name because you are good. God, you are good all the time. You've been better to us than we truly deserve. And Father, for that, we say thank you. God, be with those in the hospital. Be with those going in for testing and procedures. God, be with those families who love and have answered the master's call. Dear God, Lord, we pray, God, as, as we go through this week, God, Lord, that we have a great week. God, we have a blessed week. And God, even God, when difficulties come in our way, God, we read today in Hebrews 12 that we got to have patience while we're on this journey. God, we got to have patience while we're running our race. Because God, we realize that one day, God, this life is going to be over. God, we realize that our works, God, are going to follow us while we rest from our labor. But God, until that day come, God, I pray that we always bless you. God, I pray that we always give you the glory. God, I pray that we realize you are worthy of the, all the honor, glory, and the praise. Because, God, you give us grace and mercy every day. God, Lord, you supply all our needs every day. God, you protect us from the seen and the unseen dangers every day. And, God, for that we say thank you. Now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit Rest from about now, henceforth, and forevermore. And all God's people said, Amen. 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 God bless you. Heaven forever smile upon you.